hello there everybody so today we are making a double wrap dress so this is the fabric that i'll be using today it is folded okay so i'll be using two colors of fabric so this is the first color and then i'll go on and use the other color later so i'll be using my half circle skirt pattern okay so i will cut out a full half circle skirt from this fabric okay so i'll place my pattern are uh, on a folded fabric okay and then i'll go on and cut out the first panel so i'll cut two panels here so i'll cut out the the front panel and then i'll go on and cut out the back panel okay And then I go on and cut out the second panel or the back panel using the first panel. Okay, so I'll just place the first panel or the front panel on top of the fabric as you see me do here. And then I just go on and cut around uh, to cut out the back panel. Now we are bringing the second fabric as you can see that it is a pink color so what i'll do is that i'll just trace uh the the, the panels okay so i'll just do the same thing put the panel on on top of the fabric and then just go around and and cut it out so i'll also cut two panels here the front panel and the back panel Okay, now it is the time for the bodice. So I have one panel of my skirt here, of the blue skirt, which is uh, the waist is half of my uh, full waist measurement. So my full waist measurement is 80 centimeters. Here I should be having 40 centimeters. So what I need to do now is to extend the waist of the bodice to be the same uh, a size as the waist of the skirt okay so the waist of the body is now is 20 centimeters so i need to extend it uh to be 40 centimeters same as the as this uh, half of this skirt okay so let us do that now so let us extend the waist of the bodies uh, so that it is the same size as the waist of that uh half circle skirt of or of that panel okay so i have the front bodice here in front of me so what i will do is that i'll just go on and trace it out uh, and then i'll go on and extend 20 centi 20 centimeters uh on the center front okay as you see me do now so i'll just go on and put my tape measure like this and then measure 20 centimeters and then after that i'll go on and cut out my front bodice so as i cut out the the bodice I'll remove the dart. So I'll remove the few the centimeters added on the side uh, for the dart. So I won't be having a waste dart uh, on this bodice.
and then I'll do the same thing with the back bodice. So I'll just take my basic back bodice and then extend it by 20 centimeters uh, at the center back on the waist of the center back. And then I'll just go on and trace it and then uh, cut it out. And now we have our bodice pattern. So I will have to cut one front pink, one front blue, one back pink, one back blue. Okay. And now it is the cutting time. So I'll just go on and place my patterns on the fabric as you see me do here. So the sides, as you see, the sides are parallel to each other like this. So that uh, when, I'm, uh, when I'm done cutting, everything matches, okay? So, but I did something wrong here. The, f the back is supposed to be in the position of the front. As you see this one, this is the front. Uh, the back was supposed to be laid like as the front did, okay? Because I want this blue, uh, the blue side to face uh, to, to the left, okay? So if you, you know uh, which color you, you want to face which direction, so you must be careful here. So uh, if you want it to face uh, uh, like my dress, you see the blue is facing, uh, the is opening to the left. So you need to put your back in this position of the front, okay? So you see how the front is sitting, okay? So your back needs to be placed like this and then the front needs to be placed like the back there at the back there. And then on the pink fabric, I will put the patterns as they are just now, okay? As you see them now. So this is how the pink uh, fabric will be because it will be facing or it will be opening uh, on the, on the, to the right side, okay? So the blue one, it must be the other way, but the pink one, this is the right way for the pink fabric. And now we have the black, the back and the front of the blue, okay? So what I'll do now, because my dress, I want it to be sleeveless, I'll just go to the shoulder and take away three centimeters. Just here on the shoulder and take away three centimeters. And then after that, I'll just go on and kind of redraw the, my armhole. Okay, so I'll do that separate. I'll do on the front separate and then I'll do on the back uh, separate. I should have done that already when I was cutting out the pattern, uh, but I'll just do it uh, now on the pattern so that when I cut out the pink bodice, uh, it is already done. Uh, the three centimeters is already uh, done uh, on the shoulder.
After that, I'll go on and stitch the shoulders uh, and the side seams, okay? Uh, so I'll just go on and stitch uh, the, the blue side first, both the skirt uh, and the bodice. And then after that, I'll just go on and stitch the pink side because of the thread. So I will need to change the thread. So I'll start with the blue and use the thread, the thread for the blue and then pink side after. Okay, now here we are. So on both the skirts, we closed one side, okay? So the side that is not closed, I will go on and take away uh, 20 centimeters, okay? So at the bottom where the skirt flares out, I will measure 20 centimeters uh, and then cut it away. So please watch as I, uh, as I remove the, ten, the 20 centimeters. And now we have both sides of the dress, okay? So looking like this. So the important thing here is that I'll just go on and fit the dress. So I will, I'll be looking for the, the, the neckline. Is the neckline not too high? If there's anything that I need to take away, then I'll take away. And then the armhole, okay? So if there's any gaping around the armhole, so if there's any gaping around the armhole, I'll introduce uh, the armhole darts. Okay, so and then after that, I'll just go on and hem the sides of the dress. And then I'll finish up the armholes with the bias binding. So I'll just make a bias binding and then just finish up my, my armholes. And then after fitting, the neckline is a bit too high. So I'll just go on and take away about two centimeters on the neckline on both the sides, two centimeters. And now it is the time to hem and finish up my dress. So as I hem the dress, I will attach uh, a button a button loop here on the pink uh, on the pink side. Okay. So I want to have a button on this side because I think this one will be um, as I wear it, it will be the underneath side most of the time. And then the blue side, I will attach belts, okay? Because uh, when I wear it, I, I would like it to be on top, okay? So you can wear this dress on both sides. You can show the pink side or you can show the blue side as well. But I think most of the time I will be showing the blue side. So I will be attaching the uh, button on the pink side and then I will have belts on the blue side.